section um, is bridging the development and community. Um, same format as before. We've got three short um, talks from, from our three speakers to kick us off and to engage our brains and inspire us into the discussion session, which again will be facilitated by facilitators on your tables. The aim of this session is to explore the interface between, in inverted commas, community and commercial archaeology. As more community archaeology is built into commercial investigation, we want to look at what the benefits are and also the pitfalls. We want to have a look at how we promote good practice and ensure that, that community archaeology, and particularly within a development context, is genuinely delivering public benefit. We thought it would be interesting to look at how we can make sure community engagement is built in as standard practice and not as, a, as an afterthought or as an add-on. Um, to think about who will, might be responsible for monitoring quality and outcomes and whether those structures are in place already. And we'd also like in this session to consider, as part of the discussion later on, the role of the Chartered Institute and its relationship with community and public archaeology, whether it ha is fulfilling that role adequately at the moment, whether we can work closer with CBA on, on these areas, and to think about why volunteers who are undertaking archaeological work as a hobby um, might not might want to engage with the professional body, why it might be relevant to them, and what we can do to make it more relevant. 